Welcome to the Grand Coulee Dam, the second largest concrete structure in the world. Completed in 1941, the dam is located in central Washington, along the Columbia River near the towns of Grand Coulee and Coulee Dam. Operated by the Bureau of Reclamation, Grand Coulee Dam is the largest hydropower producer in the United States, with a total generating capacity of 6,809 megawatts. In order to improve the dam's reliability and safety, the Bureau of Reclamation asked the Bonneville Power Administration to design and construct six new sets of overhead transmission lines between the dam's third power plant and the 500 kV spreader yard. The new lines would permanently replace six aging underground lines that are located within the dam. Two sets of temporary overhead lines were built in 1981 to cross the Columbia River and connect to BPA's towers as a result of fire damage to some of the underground lines. Once the damaged lines were repaired, officials decided to keep the temporary lines in place as backup in case of another failure. The proposed new overhead lines would eliminate the need for the backup lines. The backup lines would be removed along with the underground lines. Before any project can occur, the National Environmental Policy Act, or NEPA, requires that an environmental assessment, or EA, be completed for the proposed project. NEPA is required in all federal projects that have the potential to impact the environment. The EA studies impacts to the natural and human environment to determine if the proposed project can move forward to construction. Technical studies, as well as public involvement, are both important elements in the development of the EA. For the proposed Grand Coulee project, the first step was developing several concept alternatives, including a no-action option. Under this option, existing underground lines would be allowed to continue to operate until they fail. The no-action option is not considered viable because under federal law, the Bureau of Reclamation is required to keep the lines operational. The project team also considered replacing all of the lines in the dam, which would keep them out of public view. This option is not preferred because it reduces reliability and creates safety issues. Inspection and maintenance of lines inside the dam can put employees at unnecessary risk because they must work in enclosed spaces. Additionally, replacing the old lines with overhead lines will not require generating units to be out of service for long periods of time because old lines can be used until the new lines are energized. The project team developed an all-overhead line option and presented it to the public during project scoping meetings. This alternative followed the path of the existing two sets of temporary lines to minimize the new right-of-way. Public comments received during the scoping process expressed concern that this option would impact views. The public was also concerned it would interfere with the laser show at the visitor center, as well as other seasonal events that help benefit the community's economy. As a result of those comments, the project team developed new alternatives. One of the alternatives considered shifting the towers off visitor center grounds toward the river. Unfortunately, it moved the towers near the floodplain, a risk during high water releases. Towers would also be located in winter habitat areas for bald eagles and would interfere with views from the visitor center. Another alternative considered shifting the towers to the south on visitor center grounds, closer to the dam. Even though some public comments suggested this change, after further investigation it was determined that this option will greatly impact the laser show and the available space at the visitor center grounds. With the pros and cons of each alternative in mind, the Bureau believes the best overall solution is to span the visitor center. This would remove the towers on visitor center grounds.
It also increases the separation between the transmission lines and private land. It will, however, require substantially taller towers. While a final decision has not been made, the Bureau of Reclamation has identified this as the preferred alternative. Public input will be incorporated into and considered in the final decision. On behalf of the Bureau of Reclamation and Bonneville Power Administration, we would like to thank you for taking the time to review the Grand Coulee 500 KV Line Project.